is all work from the foot accelerator and it can be fitted uh, taken off one car and fitted onto another it can be fitted on a one horsepower engine or a 50 horsepower engine the same thing and it operates the same or you can use any other gas with it propane butane hydrogen what have you right, i'm changing over to methane now Some gas is better than petrol, it's faster, uh, about 10 mile an hour faster top speed and quicker acceleration, quiet engine, runs cooler, never dirties the plugs, it takes about five or six years before your engine needs decorking if at all. Nowadays, it's got to be reliable, it's got to be efficient, but at the same time, it's got to be cheap. Then the average price of one in America is $400, and mine's $34, is a hell of a difference. In the last few years, the public debate about pollution, clean cars, the energy crisis, has brought a flood of enquiries to this quiet spot in southern England. In a modest way, Huddle bait has become famous. And one from Australia there, another one from Antwerp, another from, I don't know where that's from, looks like France. This is from, that's from Germany. We've got one here from Tonga. Uh, a lot of these are inquiring. Uh, for how much is the device and how can they send the money you see? And, uh, and then amongst them we get about a dozen or, or so orders from people that have already written to us you see we've given them the details but uh, usually there's, there's usually an average of about 50 or 60 um, inquiries and some days there's 90 and 100 uh, some days we get about uh, a dozen orders and another day we might get 20. But we've got 10,000 letters in the house. I've received letters from about 22 companies now who want to manufacture the thing in America, including about four, four oil companies. Uh, but uh, I've, I've put all that, that kind of thing in the hands of our bank, so the bank manager is going to handle it for me. And. Uh, put on an agency to deal with anyone like that abroad because it's impossible to deal by post with that sort of thing. And I've got so many things to do, I've got a lot more inventions I want to develop. And uh, of course I can't do it while we, we have so much work on hand. There's only the two of us and we're working sometimes till three o'clock in the morning. What other writing inventions? Letters. Pardon? What other inventions? Oh, well I've got an electric car that should be self-propelled. I'm going to have a go at the manpower flight and a self-propelled bicycle and oh Lord, all sorts of things. Well, this is a, a self-propelled bicycle, or partly self-propelled anyway, that I uh, were invented and worked on uh, in my spare time, you know, mm -hmm. when I did have a bit of spare time. But I haven't finished it yet. There are one or two things, one or two bugs to be ironed out. One of the biggest snags is when you get up to speed, you have a job to stop it. Because it's quite easy to get up to 40 miles an hour on it. But the idea is that you sit on it, undulations of the road, cause the saddle to rise and fall, and that drives the back wheel, you see. It's the action, of, the action of your weight on the saddle. The rougher the road, the faster it goes. Now, see? Put your weight on the saddle and it drives the back wheel and that drives the bike off. And every movement of the saddle is driving the bike forward. <laughs> Here we are. All right, which, right. Side, which side do you get on? Uh, uh, no, I'll give you a bit of a push to start off. But it's going uphill. Okay.
I say he's going up pretty fast, saying it's uphill here, and it's rather high geared for road work at the moment. It was built really to test out on the track, you see. But uh, suitably geared, it, it makes it very simple to pedal, and it's pretty well effortless when once you get on the main road. Here he comes, he's almost airborne. Hmm? He's almost airborne. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> the, all the apparatus fitted on the back that causes it to be self-propelled is um, made so that it can be bolted onto any, any existing bicycle because there's already millions of them and therefore you won't have to, uh, to build a, anything special. Just sell the uh, equipment to bolt on. And then you've got a bike that uh, will be as good as an motorcycle, but be no tax on it, be no garage needed, be no insurance needed, well, be no nothing, no petrol, no anything. <laughs> a bait special. Yeah, and it's, and of course it's, uh, it's, it's an improvement on the ordinary bicycle. As I say, it's, the bicycle hasn't been improved for 70 years, except the looks of it and all that. So this is a. Uh, one way out of it of getting an easy ride, mm -hmm. you know. Well, good night, Mr. Bates. Thank you very oh, much for a grand day. And Where's thank you. Your wife? She's here. Okay. All right. Well, cheerio. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 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 Cheerio.